Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Ninjago review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 9449, Lash's Bike Cycle. This set includes 250 pieces and originally retailed for $24.99 back in June of 2012. Now I don't really remember when I got this, but I got it around the time it released, probably for Christmas or something like that. Looking at the box art, you get your logo at the top as well as the green ninja, which was the big thing for the time period. Regular stuff split off the side, main picture of the set front and center, looks to be taking place in the Venomari Swamp. Spinning around to the back of the box, you can take a look at this set in more detail, as well as seeing that we get one of the four fang blades included in this set, and also just a showcase of Lasha the snake that you get in this set. So yeah, that's really all that I have to say for the box, so let's take a look at the instructions, minifigures, and then the final overall model. Looking at the instructions, we pretty much mimic the front of the box. From the very back you get the Wind Kid, and you can flip right open to some advertisements for LEGO Club, as well as for Ninjago.com. We can also see the set lineup for this wave, where we have some, I guess, preliminary pictures. You can see that we actually have the preliminary, like, stamp on these, which, you know, I just find that really weird for instructions, which I'll also show on the next page. We have some of the spinners, which I'm not sure if I own any of these. I know I own the Lloyd spinner, which, you know, is advertised later on in this catalog. We also get all of the sets for this wave, which out of these I currently have a review up for this one. And then I have a review up for the Ultrasonic Raider, which is currently getting a remake for the summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting that. And some future reviews include the Samurai X Mech, which I'm really excited to part together this summer sometime. From the following page, we also get our piece count for this set, which leads to the final overall model, which I also wanted to note in the very middle of most of these 2012-2011 Ninjago instructions, we have some advertisements in the very center of our Energy Ninja, as well as Lloyd standing in the center of the Gray Ninja. We have a weapons checklist for two pages, and then finally we have the spinners advertised all of the characters that are included in the future spinners, which I don't know why it's so blurry. This picture, it might just be the printing of this particular page, but here's just a quick look at some of the characters and also like some of the spinner characters like that Lloyd I know I own in my collection. I hope to review that sometime, as well as the spinner for Spitta. Taking a look at our very first minifigure, we have Cole ZX, who is not exclusive coming within five other sets counting this one. Now for Cole's minifigure, we get some pretty nice leg printing leading up to the belt piece up to the main torso. We also get some back printing covered up by an under the neck accessory, which was new for the time period with the shoulder pads in that more silvery color where you can also hold two swords in there. You can take a quick look at that. I'll remove it in a minute though. We also get two accessories, one sword in gold, which I just showed, and one in black. For the facial expression, we have the same exact one that we saw back in 2011 for Cole, which I'm pretty happy to see here. And then we also have a new mask for the time period, where we have that printing from the very top in that silvery color. Removing the under the neck accessory, you can take a better look at the back printing to reveal Cole's symbol on the very back of his torso. So yeah, that's all for our minifigure of Cole. And then finally, for our last minifigure, we have Lasha, who comes in three other sets, counting this one. I will be reviewing the spinner that this character comes in sometime in the future as well, brand new and sealed. Lasha has some pretty nice leg printing leading up to the belt piece up to the main torso. I really love the printing from the torso from the legs right there. I think it just looks really great the way that it transitions between them. We get a full lime green look other than the black hands for this character. We also have a new mold for the headpiece, which we also see used on quite a few other snake characters at the time period. You can also remove that to take a better look at the back printing. No back printing for the head though, but we get some printing on the very top of the hat piece or actually just the rest of the head for this particular snake. I think LEGO did a pretty good job overall with Lash's character and also the facial expression just looks really nice. You can also remove that to take a better look 
add the printing overall for lashes. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the minifigures included in this set. So looking at the small blacksmith area, you get a few weapons connected via clip pieces. You get this spear in that more silvery color. We get a dark gray knife. We also get one of these spear pieces, which you would normally see in stuff like Indiana Jones. So I'm pretty happy to get that in the dark gray. And then of course you get your typical hammer piece right there in black. We have a small fire pit area to create the weapons using these translucent red and translucent orange studs. And then of course you get the anvil which is a pretty big build for an anvil using the building on the side with those slope pieces just to give it the angling over there. As I said really nothing going on that's too crazy over here. You also get your typical sort of like Ninjago style building right at the very top of the little pillar holding the weapons. Now looking at the final overall model for Lash's Bite Cycle, I think it turned out all right. It is supposed to represent one of those oversized motorcycles or bikes that you would typically see within the LEGO Ninjago theme. You can tell that based on the two wheels down there, but I think it does a pretty good job trying to stay away from the oversized motorcycle and just being a giant vehicle with two wheels. So fun fact for those of you who don't really follow Ninjago, Lasha is a Venomari character and Venomaris can bite things and turn them into snakes. People, vehicles, pretty much anything. So Lasha bit a motorcycle and turned it into a giant snake motorcycle. So looking at the build for this, we get a few stickers from the very front on these slope pieces, just to add a little bit more of that texture that you would see within the snakes. See a little bit of purple in there as well as the dark green and the white, just to continue that color scheme. A lot of the lime green in here for the snakes. We also see these red ball pieces used for the eyes, which I really love how that turned out. You get some small little fangs right here down connected via clip pieces. And you also see a little bit more of that dark green also from the down under over here. You can see the hinge connection in order to get the angling straight for that, which I think also looks really nice. You also get a little bit of a hinge. You can see from the very side, you get this hinge in order to make that angle work, which I think is also really cool for this set. We also get a windshield from the very front of this vehicle. And another sticker for the control panels are actually two more stickers on these 1x2 tile pieces in the lime green just for some controls. You also get your typical motorcycle handle piece right there so you can stand, I guess stand better than sit right here Lasha in order to hold on to this vehicle. We have some clip pieces off to the side with some accessories, one stick of dynamite. And then from the other side we have our fang blade which is the Venomari fang blade you can see that we get the symbol printed on that one by one circular tile from the bottom. We use the lightsaber handle piece as well as the giant spike or medium spike in that silvery color. You can just pop that right in. And that is the intention of the set. You have Cole coming to steal that from Lasha. From the very back of the vehicle, we get some more stickers on these slope arch pieces. We get one of the main play features of this vehicle, that being the flick fire missiles, which you get from both sides. All you gotta do is flick. And it goes out into the distance, never to be found again, unless it just rebounds like such. You can plop it right back in very nice and easily. We also get some purple flames coming out of the very back, which I also really love getting the flames in that purple color. That's pretty cool to see. We also see the different type of clip piece connection for the very base of the tail, which I don't know why it goes up and down like that. I would have liked to see it go side to side, just like how you see back here, where you can have it go from side to side as you see fit. You get two more points of articulation and then you get another one at the very back where you use that typical tail piece that you would have seen for Jabba the Hutt back in the day. So that's pretty cool to see. And you also see that for some of the older dinosaurs as well. But it shows in the instructions that you can just put it all curved up like that. And then you can just move this wherever you so desire. So overall for $25 back in the day, I think this was a pretty cool set for the time period to get two minifigures who, even though they weren't exclusive, are pretty nice to get both Cole ZX as well as Lasha. I think the build for Lasha's bike cycle is pretty cool. You get a few stickers to add some details and I really love the lime green in the color scheme mixing with the dark green and even the purple flames from the very back. I think that's a really nice touch from the very back of the vehicle. The side build is nothing special, but still nice to add to the piece count. 
and overall it's a fun little playset and something nice to add on to the rest of your Lego Ninjago collection. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!